used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey. Still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. The cookies are great on Edwards Island. Used to be great, but you passed. Thank you. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, please don't. Let's not relive their meet cute any more than we have to. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what? Does that make you to her then? A uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating your food. No, that's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like... The concept of just getting a new sister like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't see a man's toddler penis and not become best friends after that. Yeah, exactly. Bond stronger than oak. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, so how do you It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before yeah, let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah. But I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. We spent five years. It's, uh, to the left of the dial? 88.3 which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> Ah, 
that's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. The last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right. My other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends? Uh, really? Just... That's kind of... It'll take... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna meet up with them. It's like a buddy system. No, it's... it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And, like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons. Lemonade, however that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah, I'm an optimist and proud of it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so this is... Yeah, no problem. Anytime. When the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. I heard, um, I think from my mom that you, uh... Went to jail? Yeah, well, don't believe everything you hear. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Uh, I think they block this off at night since... Nobody needs to use it? Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. It's kind of kitschy. Right? It's kind of kitschy? Yeah, it's like a quiche. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's 102.3. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? On October 28th, anyway. 1943, it was sunk by... 
Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Carrier. <laughs> Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, all right. Damn, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Really? That's kind of gross. Yeah, sex is gross. So disgusting. Man, get a room, you soldiers. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High Junior Class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the Weirdo Caves. Weirdo Caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth? The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sound. It's, um... It's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owned some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you'd call the local legend. She has a house. Man, that woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with- The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but... I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Ugh, perfect. Well, just wait a minute and let me think. But you'd be okay with never leaving. Really? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? If you're happy, you're happy. Why would you move? Yeah, why would you? Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... Huh. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want, forget I said anything. Thank you. I will. Thanks. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll... budge. Well, let's try it. Uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Deal? Be cool. Don't be like just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, Just leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but I want... Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy, stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. 
It's a trip, right? Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, wait, wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... your stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Uh, My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. Yeah. Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, <laughs> that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, come on. Don't be mean. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> Who said I'm not having any fun? I'm having fun. This is like friggin' Candyland right now. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the picture now. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on their... Faster. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be a... Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um... What's the, like, thing to do here? Other than, obviously, go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah. I think it's just whatever. We should explore the island. I mean, if this is pretty much a one-time thing, we shouldn't waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth. But if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so first, we're I'll gonna- I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Uh, Clarissa, come on. You're supposed to ask, like, have you ever stole something? Not super weirdo probing stuff. You ask probing stuff if you play the game right, Alex. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no, just face it. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's, that's all. She's cool. She's... she's just a friend. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. All right. Great, let's just move on. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I just have to think about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? What? It's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? Clarissa. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. You're not going to call her out on that? No, I believe her. I mean, look at me. And wait. Wait, that means you'd kill me? Out of everyone here! You're hey, you wanted to know. And I'm the only guy. This is Miss Andrew. Miss Andrew, I said! Okay, settle down. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor um, no, no. <laughs> yes? All right, let's uh, make it something uh, fun and easy now. <laughs> Is it that hard to come up with a question to ask me? Oh my god, if you can't even speak, your turn gets skipped. 
Um, Nona, you're up. Oh, uh, Clarissa. If you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. A dolphin, right? Or a butterfly with like a Native American poem written above it. I'd get like a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am gonna get that after I move out, so my parents can't say no. Neat. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother, pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, uh... He, uh, seems okay, right? You're okay? Yeah, but, uh, thanks, I guess. I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't I don't really need to know the situation before. Okay, just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you- What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's- let's not stop like this. We should- like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Oh my god, you are annoying. This isn't me being annoying. This is me being tired. There's a difference. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Uh, if we find anything more interesting than that, I think we'll be too involved in our own fun to come get you. Well, wouldn't you know it, that's just fine by me. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? But like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh yeah, is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, I'll push <laughs> you over. Oh, oh, I forgot. We never talked about John. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, So, the he, cave. Uh, What's your bet? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? It's Ren, so definitely 10. He gets excited easily, but... He has the concentration of a goldfish. The fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> all right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but... You know, you could've, and you didn't, so thanks. Well, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't throw you in the deep end or anything. Not like a certain person who yelled at Andrew Finnegan about a certain junior high dance right in the middle of gym class. That was a joke, and he agreed, so no regrets. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Me, me, me! Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie town. Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's 
You'll know. Trust me. So, just pull out your radio. Any day. While we're young, please. Seriously, Alex, just pull out your radio and tune it. It's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. What is it? What's doing it? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <sighs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Yeah, it did to me. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. If you want to bring it on over... Bring the noise, as they say. God, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... It sounds... Like, painful. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's, like, something in here. Famous last words. Famous last... No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there. Like, a giant rabies-filled bat. Or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. If it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> Cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here. 
because I think, shh, I think I mismeasured them. I bring an ashtray down here, or a pen. See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. Are you okay? Jesus, you scared me. I scared you? You scared me! I had no idea where you were! I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought... I thought I heard somebody down here, but... You know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this... how this happens. No, it's... Uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. What could that be? Echoes? Sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? Beats me, I failed geology. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. What is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. Pockets of it are cold, but not all of it. What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? No, where? It's like in the, the air, right there. It, it must be like a, like a rainbow or like a reflection of light. Those, um, exist, right? Sure, why not? Let's go with that, for the time being. Saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? A guy who can't see dogs? Did you see the first half? See a man about a dog? Yeah, I don't get it either. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there in the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think... Apart from the, um, triangle, this is honestly the craziest thing in here. Like, how did he even get in? And I mean, aside from some, like, water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. 
Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. I guess it's locked. Yeah, I already tried. Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. Alex, really, I want to see what it's going to do. Oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? Should... Should I stop? No! This is awesome! Why did you stop? I'm sorry, I just... I got confused. All right, well, let's do it again. I want to see it again. Just... just give me a second. insane uh who are are you who are you on the listen bob tail shade tail sleeping time is possible uh maybe but i i don't really bob tail leave children bye see you soon alex
Alex? <sighs> Are you okay? You all right? <sighs> what happened? That is a very good question. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there. But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just... No, I'm way ahead of you. There's got to be some kind of emergency station or way to get out without taking the ferry. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little deep pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really... Really not in Jonas, believe me, I wouldn't do that to you. I'm not that cruel. <sighs> Hardened okay. Tower. Well, I hope so. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> that would explain why I remember it. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Probably heard all the noise and ran off instead of trying to come help us. Great. <sighs> it's locked. Let me try. Oh, after you. Oh, why, thank you. What are you even doing? Just have a little faith. See? Oh my, and me without my camera. Oh God, shut up. There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nada. Ah! Jesus! Communications tower? Alex? Alex? Ren? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ, thank Vishnu. I... you guys went into that hole and... Bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> Ren, just it's been a rough night, you know. How'd you get this number? It's it's a code written on this list here, but it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at uh the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like like just the worst thing ever. Just. Defcon Fuchsia level terrible ever since you went into the cave. Like, when are you all right? Like, physically all right, because I know mentally you're no, probably... No, I'm not all right. I mean, do I sound all right or do I sound not all right? I probably sound not all right, right? Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something. Wait, Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm going to see who it is. Okay, but make it quick. Seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa. And... Okay, 
Look, Clarissa, Ren's on the other line and sounding like he's about a stub toe away from a total collapse, so if you're at least holding it together, Wait, wait, then... wait, I... I'm at Fort Milner, and I can't... I don't remember, like, the last hour, and it's, like, really scaring the crap out of me. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? Yeah, sure. We'll be over there in a minute. Okay, just hurry, okay? There's, like... I don't know, I'm hearing stuff outside. Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... And it dies, ladies. Ren, are you still there? Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. You told Clarissa we're coming, so want to truck over to Milner first? See about that radio? Warning, do not use aboard ship. Unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff... Kinda interesting, really. You know, normally. <sighs> you don't have to make me feel better about getting you trapped on Horror Island. Horror Island? Sounds a little different than what we're on right Why now. Why would you think I said Horror Island? Um, I don't know. So anyways, it sounds like Clarissa has a way to talk to the mainland, so we should maybe go there first? Fence should be off now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Well, I will, and have taken offense at your not believing in my ability at flipping switches. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can swing through the forest in Nabren, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. You can decide. Clarissa has a walkie-talkie, so Ren can just sweat it out for an hour. Sound logic. All right, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. Let's get this done and get off this rock like the badasses we are. Yeah, righteous. How are you, uh, doing? I'm fine, I guess. Why? Uh, cause everything's crazy, you know? So, just making sure your shoes are still on your feet. They are, they are. How are you? Uh, could be better, but we'll get through this and on to bigger and better? Good talk.
Uh, what is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She sounded weird. Like, not just staticky weird. It could be the system, or whatever, just the equipment making her sound deformed. See that sign? They were originally gonna make this whole place into a museum, but quit halfway through. It doesn't look very, uh, safe, so I can understand why. Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned? I think if they had alien autopsies or whatever you're suggesting is happening in there, we'd have been taken out by snipers about 50 paces back. Maybe. But listen, like, what if, just, what if all the stuff that's like happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing is like the direct result of some government secret project? Like, what if there's some, um, experimental, uh, program? Sure. I mean, I'm kind of in no place to toss aside any reason for what's been going on, so... Yeah, it's the government. Let's go with that. It's just my going premise right now, so... I don't know. Keep a tally. Fort Milner was the home of the U.S. Army Radio Communication School, which saw more than 100,000 students take its curriculum. During the years it was open, the school trained troops from the various armed services in applied oral communication, radio and TV broadcasting, telecommunications, and what was then state-of-the-art techniques in code-breaking using an early form of computer technology. The school was moved to Fort Baxter in Southern California when the post closed in 1974, and it still resides there to this day. Fort Milner was the home of... Clarissa! Where are you? Clarissa! Oh, forget it. Oh, when I start calling out, then forget it. Okay, your voice is a little annoying when you yell, but that's not why I said forget it. Photography prohibited. That is a very serious sign. Restricted. Keep out. Now they're not messing around. Does the- uh, Don't worry about it. Kids do this all the time. The worst that happens is you snag yourself on a nail or something and have to go get a tetanus shot. That light. For some reason, it reminds me of the cave. Dinner time. It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? All right, I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio men for the door. No, 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 no. Don't be locked. Come on. Oh, uh, really? Yes, really. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Uh, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? It really wasn't. I mean, yeah, it was like for a few months, but, you know, that's nine weeks in the scheme of things. I've had rashes that lasted longer. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? 
I'm just trying to... Well, you know, you'd have to ask him what he was into, I guess. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? Just what would a guy like that see in her? Like, at least at the start. It's not a trick question, Jonas. She's been the homecoming queen every year since she grew boobs. And he'd been the captain of every sports team he'd ever played on. It was practically an arranged marriage. Huh. Okay. It's just, uh, interesting, I guess, to me. What's your type? Blonde, right? Nose ring? No, no. Tall, brunette, maybe a big hat, red raincoat, lots of mystique, been around the world. You're describing Carmen San Diego. Oh, yeah. You know, that kind of explains a lot. Ah, <sighs> can you imagine sleeping here? I'm trying not to. But why would the construction guys leave the bed frames? Seems kind of, I don't know, kind of morbid. Yeah, it's... it's just strange to see it like this. In the daytime, this is pretty much skater mecca. I can tell. It's got a padlock. You can't pick this one, can you? No. We need, like, bolt cutters or something. Yeah, I don't know if we'll find that around here, though. What happened? Are you all right? Jonas, can you hear me? Testing, testing. Um, okay. I can't... I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room, so, like, riddle me that, first of all, and then, second of all, I can't get out. Uh, yeah. Hold on. I'll check. I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but there's just a really weird... Hello? Are you... <sighs> Look, is someone there? When the time comes, let Jonas talk to his mom. H how is this possible? W what's going on? Ow! I'm okay. Okay, what just happened? Cause that... that sucked. Uh, Clarissa ran in there, disappeared into the walls, yeah, and... Yeah, I'm not really one to hate stuff, but I hated all of that. Is this what you were talking to me on? Yep. Old girl did the trick. Do you think maybe, uh, Clarissa was using this before? You know, to call us and everything? It was locked, remember? How could she have gotten in? Same way I did. But then I don't really know how she could have gotten out. Oh, here's the code for the, uh, for the padlock. 3418. It's on a list of... Huh. They call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I... Did, did you see that? In... in the mirror? The reflection... was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice that made... Ab okay. Make it snappy. Get it? I'm choosing not to get it. Sure. Huh. I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen, so 
Let's just carry on. Oh, I'm gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway, I thought I'd... Oh my god, go in the corner then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. I'll force it out fast. This is... If the knight needed a capper, this is it. Right here. My vagrant new stepbrother. Peeing on a rat. Don't look at me. Be quieter. It's like louder than the rainstorm. I know the uh, acoustics are really carrying it. Sorry. Clarissa! Okay, that was definitely her. What is she? Is this just like a game to her or something? Clarissa, come back! We came to help you, don't... Ugh. Hello? Is this thing... is this... God, is this... is this going out or... Wait, I can... Ugh, I can hear myself, that's Ugh, not... man, maybe God, she didn't see us. Anybody... I don't know, but... Whatever, she still has a radio, so we still gotta get to her. The handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. I really have no idea. Well, you really couldn't just say your friends do this for my own peace of mind? What was that? You... you heard that, right? Something just fell. Relax. I'm sure... High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. It's one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey, kids. Wanna play a game? Ugh. They're talking about... It's talking about the Navy? Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Uh... This, this isn't how you play hangman. Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Isn't this- Nine. Like U.S. Army Radio Communication School. That's the stuff, Charlie. Now you're swinging. It all goes into your final rating. You want to get a good rating, don't you? You want to be a good soldier? Yeah, sure, if that's... If that's what you want. Excellent! Oh, Jesus. What is going on? Ugh, I feel like I'm stuck on a tilt-a-whirl. Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Who Ten. would know that? You call codes... cookies? There. Now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Uh, no. I mean, like any job, right? Like anything. Right. We are an island race, and through all our times the sea has ruled our breaks. But be wary, young ones. Jonas, are, are you, uh, doing okay? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencils ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Ten. The other ships, the Nine. To sail them. Above all Eight. victories, beyond all loss. Seven. Uh, twelve? You're off, Bob. That's not gonna cut it. Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. 85 officers, 12 passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. 
just another fact among many. Here I am. I didn't need to get that far. States submarine Kanaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Kanaloa was lost today, lost at sea, near. Is this? Are you the dead officers that sunk on the Kanaloa? We. Are sunken. Oh, what? What do you want? For the first time. For the first time. For the first time. Time. Just. Time. What? I. That was not fun. Are you? Feeling better? I'm feeling. Let's start with that. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. Anyone? Can anyone just... That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here.
Cross your fingers. Uh, Clarissa? Oh my god, you actually came. I mean, it did take you long enough, but still, good. I've been sitting, fumbling around with this stuff. Yeah, I keep my word. I told you I'd come, and I came. Yeah, you did, but be honest. Did you come because I needed help, or did you come because there was a radio? Um, Clarissa... I want to hear it from Alex. <sighs> yes, of course, Clarissa. I really don't appreciate the question. Okay. Speaking of the radio, where is it? I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, 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 isn't there a... Any officers who know your problems full and well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Uh... Um, some things... I, I don't... I don't know. Clarissa! Is there anything, like... Can we cut... A Cross your fingers. Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Better gone than dead. Oh, maybe this was the, the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to... I mean, she got it to kind of work, so... Yeah, it it only broadcasts within, the, within a short space. It's not going to do what we need it to. Really? How do you know? Jonas, we're in a loop. We already just... It's okay. Knock yourself out. Clarissa. Clarissa, it's us. It's Alex. Are you okay? Alex. Oh my god! Why would she do that? Why would she do that? We're, we're, we're not... It's not like we're... She... She was... She was like possessed. I... I, I just... I, I just... Uh, this is... Jonas, this is so horrible. I don't... I don't even know what to... We... We should get to the others. I, I can't even imagine telling them. Or... Or how to tell them. I'm... I, I don't even know how I can tell her mom. I mean, we... She knows me. This can't... Oh, God. And just the fact that I'm the one who... Who was here. I... Oh, God. We'll... We'll figure it out. This is unbelievable. Wow. Um, there's no way she got up from that, right? Like, there's no oh way- Oh my- <gasps> Thank Christ, she's alive! Maybe she just- Maybe she just twisted her- Twisted something, or- Alex, even if she fell feet first, she would have broken every bone in her body. How'd she just get up and walk away? This is impossible. Let's just put a pin in ghosts and say, until evidence proves otherwise. Well, regardless, good news? Yes, Jonas, of course it's good news that Clarissa isn't dead. Christ. That's not why I hesitated. Of course it's good news if she's not dead. I'm just saying if. What, you think she's a zombie now? Three seconds ago you said she couldn't get up from that. Now you're leaping right into zombie. I'm not saying she's a zombie. I'm saying we don't know what she is currently. 